The Eastern Freeway is a controlled access highway, in Mumbai, that connects P. DeMello Road in South Mumbai to the Eastern Express Highway at Ghatkopar. It is 16.8 km long and its estimated cost is 1,436 crore rupees $200 million. The Eastern Freeway was built by the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority and funded by the central government through the Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission Construction was contracted to Simplex Infrastructure Limited. A 13.59 km stretch of the freeway, comprising two of three segments with one of the twin tunnels, from Orange Gate on P. DeMello Road up to Panjarpal, near RK Studios in Chembur, was opened to the public on 14 June 2013. The second tunnel was opened on 12 April 2014. The third and final segment from Panjarpal to Ghatkopar Mankhurd Link Road GMLR was opened on 16 June 2014. The Eastern Freeway is primarily intended to reduce travel time between South Mumbai and the eastern suburbs. It is also expected to ease traffic on Dr. Bridge Ambedkar Road, Rafi Ahmed Kidwai Marg, Port Trust Road, P. DeMello Road, the Eastern Express Highway EEH, and Muhammad Ali Road. Heavy vehicles except public buses, three-wheelers, two-wheelers, bullock carts, handcarts and pedestrians are prohibited from using the freeway. Vehicles are also prohibited from halting on the freeway. The maximum allowed speed limit is 60 km per hour. History Wilbur Smith and Associates, commissioned in 1962 to study transportation in Bombay, recommended construction of a freeway from the southern part of the city to the Western Express Highway near Bandra. An eastern freeway to connect the eastern suburbs with South Mumbai was also proposed in the Central Road Research Institute's Transport Improvement Plan for Bombay in 1983. It also recommended a western freeway to connect the western suburbs with South Mumbai. However, the plan was not given serious consideration until about 2003, when work on the Bandra Worli Sea Link BWSL, which was part of the proposed western freeway, had begun. It led to an increase in traffic in eastern Mumbai, and the MMRDA decided to consider building the eastern freeway. The MMRDA called for bid in 2007, and construction of the main freeway began in January 2008, except for the Anak Panjarpal Link Road on which construction had begun in 2004. The eastern freeway was scheduled to be completed by 18 January 2011 but faced several delays due to obtaining permissions for construction in forest and salt pan areas, reclaiming of land and difficulties posed by unmapped underground utilities in the construction work. The delays also escalated the cost of the 9.29 km elevated road from the initial 5.31 billion rupees $74 million to 5.72 billion rupees $80 million. A 14 km section of the 17 km eastern freeway was completed by 24 May 2013. Chavan had promised to open the freeway on 7 June 2013, when he inaugurated the Milan flyover in May 2013. The delay in opening the freeway led to criticism from transport experts and the media, and protests from angry Mumbai residents. The problem was exacerbated by heavy monsoon rains that caused most other roads to be waterlogged. A 13.59 km stretch of the eastern freeway, comprising the four-lane 9.29 km elevated road from Orange Gate on P. DeMello Road to the beginning of Anak Panjarpal Link Road and four of eight lanes of the 4.3 km road tunnel flyover from Anak to the beginning of Panjarpal Ghatkopar Link Road, was eventually inaugurated by the Chief Minister himself on 13 June 2013. However, the freeway could not be opened the same day as the stage erected for the ceremony remained in the middle of the road. The freeway was opened to the public the following day. All civil work on the remaining stretch from Panjarpal to Ghatkopar Mankhurd Link Road (GMLR) was completed in January 2014. The final stretch opened to the public in April 2014. The original estimated cost of all three segments together was 8.47 billion rupees, 120 million dollars. The final cost of the project is estimated to be 14.63 billion rupees, 200 million dollars. 8 CCTV cameras are installed on the freeway and are operational since the 12th of August 2015. Topic: Construction. 
The freeway was built in three segments, a 9.3 km elevated road from Orange Gate on P. DeMello Road to the beginning of Anak Panjarpal Link Road, a 5 km mostly at grade road featuring twin tunnels from Anak to the beginning of Panjarpal Ghatkopar Link Road, and a 2.5 km flyover from Panjarpal to Ghatkopar. The four-lane eastern freeway, starts at P. DeMello Road near Wadi Bundar, and further enters into Mumbai Port Trust Road and eventually joins the EEH via Anak Panjarpal Link Road APLR, near Wadala. <laughs> P. DeMello Road to Anak The first section has a length of 9.3 km, width of 17.2 m and connects P. DeMello Road to Anak. This phase also includes ground improvement of existing roads, the construction of a four-lane elevated corridor and the construction of a missing link. This stretch is made up of four sections, and has five ramps for exit and entry at Ray Road, Port Road, Anak and Orange Gate. Section I, from S. V. Patel Road Junction on P. DeMello Road to Orange Gate consisting of up and down ramps 0.41 km. Section 2, Orange Gate to Mumbai Port Trust Pipeline Gate, Elevated Corridor 7.02 km. Section 3, Mumbai Port Trust Pipeline Gate to WTT Road consisting of construction of elevated corridor through Salt Pan missing link and customs area 0.78 km. Section IV, WTT Road near Customs Area to start of APLR, Elevated Corridor 1.08 km Civil construction work on this section was completed on 9 March 2013. The 9.29 km stretch from Orange Gate to Mahul Creek is the longest flyover in Mumbai and third longest flyover in India, after the 25 km Kanpur City Bypass flyover on NH2 and the 11.6 km PV. Narasimha Rao Elevated Expressway in Hyderabad. This segment was opened to the public on 14 June 2013, along with four lanes of the Anak Panjarpal Link Road. Anak Panjarpal Link Road The second segment is the eight lane, five km long Anak Panjarpal Link Road. This stretch required the construction of Mumbai's first twin tunnel. The twin tunnels are 505 meters northbound and 555 meters southbound in length, 18 meters in width and 9 meters in height. This segment was opened to traffic on the 14th of June 2013. However, only the northbound tunnel was opened on that date, but it was used for two-way traffic. The southbound tunnel was opened to traffic from the 12th of April 2014, making the entire stretch 8 lane. The ramps connecting Anak Wadala Road to the Eastern Freeway were opened to traffic on 6 April 2014. The construction of these two ramps had been scheduled to complete in January 2014, but the work was delayed due to unforeseen technical reasons. <laughs> Panjarpal – Ghatkopar Link Road The third segment consists of a four-lane elevated 2.8 km flyover from Panjarpal till the Ghatkopar Mankhurd Link Road GMLR, via Gavandi. This stretch has three ramps near Dianur, Gavandi and Panjarpal. The section consists of 103 spans. Like the elevated section of the freeway, the Panjarpal Ghatkopar Link Road has a bitumen layer atop the concrete, ensuring smoother riding quality than a regular cement road. Construction work on this phase of the project was awarded in August 2009 at a cost of 168 crore rupees, equivalent to 301 crore rupees or 42 million dollars in 2017, and MMRDA officials announced February 2011 as the deadline. However, obtaining permissions from authorities concerned, rehabilitating project affected families and engineering challenges involved during the construction stage delayed the project. All civil work on the final stretch of the Eastern Freeway from Panjarpal to Ghatkopar Mankhurd Link Road (GMLR) was completed in January 2014. Engineers working on the project then concretized the surface of the Panjarpal Ghatkopar Link Road, which begins at Panjarpal Junction near RK Studio in Chembur and ends at the GMLR. When the first phase of the freeway was inaugurated in June 2013, the MMRDA had planned to commission the final stretch in December 2013. 
The up and down ramps on the Pandrapol Gakopar Link Road at Pandrapol Junction were opened for vehicular traffic on the morning of 30 April 2014. By the end of April 2014, the MMRDA was finishing up the painting and concretizing and installing street lights and signs. The final leg of the 2.8 km Panjarpal Gotkopar Link Road was opened to traffic on 16 June 2014, marking the commissioning of the entire Eastern Freeway. Other work Seismic arresters installed on the freeway will enable it to handle earthquakes of up to 7.5 on the Richter scale. Future plans The Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority plans to extend the southern arm of the freeway by building a 1.5 km extension from Orange Gate, where it currently ends to Mint Road. It is looking at the costs involved as well as the number of lanes of traffic possible. <laughs> Bus services Several bus services are operated on the Eastern Freeway, mostly connecting the Eastern and Harbour suburbs with South Mumbai and further down to Navi Mumbai. Brian Mumbai Electric Supply and Transport Best operates services from Cuff Parade to Vashi, Mantralaya to Gavandi, and Mantralaya to Shivaji Nagar C8, Thane to Back Bay A8 Express, Gotkopar to Museum C9 via the Eastern Freeway. The Maharashtra State Road Transport Corporation MSRTC operates two by two seating buses on the freeway. Best plans to begin AC bus service as well. The MSRTC began running AC buses from Panvel to Mantralaya on the 23rd of September 2013, marking the first time that AC buses plied on the Eastern Freeway. AC buses to South Mumbai had been operated by the NMMT prior to MSRTC's service, but the latter was the first time that buses took the Eastern Freeway route. 